Hey guys, this is Sunip Sky, and in this video, I'm going to show you my simple Hyperland setup for Arch Linux. So let's get started. So this simple Hyperland setup looks quite a lot like Windows because I'm a long-time Windows user and I want something familiar to Windows. So this is the way bar at the bottom, and clicking this will open Rofi. As you can see, this is the Rofi in column view, and it will show my desktop entries for applications and you can also search for applications and after that we have the workspace selector as you can see you can scroll the workspace selector to switch between the workspace you can also click between them and after that we I have uh, custom launchers for some applications so I use these applications quite a lot so first is the browser for Google Chrome and after that a file manager which is not less and after that terminal which is the alacrity terminal <coughs> and then Lutris to play Windows games and after that this is the name of the application which is currently on focus so if I right click on this it will also close the application and after that this is the Bluetooth status indicator and if I click on it it will open the Bluetooth manager so I can also manage Bluetooth devices from here and after that my CPU usage and then RAM usage and brightness so if I scroll up it will increase the brightness and if I scroll down it will decrease the brightness after that my Wi-Fi indicator and it shows currently the name of the connected Wi-Fi and if I hover on it it will show some Wi-Fi details and if I click on it it will open network manager terminal interface so I can change or disconnect Wi-Fi from here and after that it will show my battery status indicator and as you can see it is currently plugged in so that's that and after that my audio volume indicator and if I click on it it will mute the audio and finally I have my time indicator so if I click on it it will show me the date instead so I can toggle by just clicking on it <coughs> and I also have some key bindings so super key plus E will open not list file manager just like file manager shortcut in windows and super plus enter opens alacrity terminal so if i press super and left right it will just swap the positions and if i press super shift and two then it will move the currently focused wind application to the desired number of workspace so and if i press super key and one two then it will move switch to the selected workspace and if I press super Q it will quit the application so that's my simple setup and to access the configuration files I have made a shortcut which is super control Z it will open the hyperland configuration and if I press super Control X it will open the hyper lock so let me quickly show you my lock screen as well so as you can see this is my lock screen and it shows time date my profile picture name and field to enter password so these are my configurations you can find this configuration in my github repositories and in my next video, I'll show you how to install Arch Linux with my Hyperland configuration. So stay tuned for that. So this file is the Hyperland configuration. So if you don't like my configuration, you can modify this to your liking. And you can see all the key bindings and some default configuration for Hyperland. So this is my Hyperpaper configuration and then hyperlock which I just showed you earlier and after that this is the style.css file for waybar which is at the bottom and after that this is the config file for rofi which opens the menu just like this so and this is the config file for waybar 
it shows what modules are in the left center and right and after that this is the modules for webr so you can define the icons on click behavior etc in here so you can find all these configuration files in my dot files in github repository so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you